It's always cute to see a video of two different animals becoming unlikely friends. Although these types of relationships typically all happen in captivity, there are some that happen in the wild, one of which is the relationship between ravens and wolves. They're some of nature's best friends. To understand how their relationship works, we first have to understand what type of animals they are. Ravens are scavengers, while wolves are predators. This means that ravens will feed off larger animals that were already dead, and wolves will hunt for themselves. So right away, knowing the types of animals that they are, you should be able to to tell that ravens will get a meal if they follow wolves. In fact, it was found that nearly 100% of wolf kills were visited by ravens in Yellowstone Park and they end up consuming around two-thirds of the carcass. Ravens will also lead wolves to carrion, which is the meat of an already dead animal, and they'll do this because carrion is too thick for their beaks to get at, so they need the wolves to open everything up for them. Without wolves, only the eyes could be eaten by the ravens. Ravens actually won't eat large carcasses without wolves around due to a larger predation risk. But of course, ravens don't get all this food for free. Wolves also use them as their tools. Wolves allow the ravens to feast on their kills because they can be an extra set of eyes who can alert of any nearby dangers while the wolves are hunting or eating. Ravens will also find nearby prey for the wolves, as it's been observed that they will harass elk and deer in order to alert them of their location. So it's a relationship built on the sharing of food and the protection of each other. But of course, the relationship between these two animals does get a bit more interesting. It seems they're not just feeding buddies, but they're also playmates. People have observed ravens playing with a wolf pup by teasing them with sticks and starting a game similar to tug of war. They've also been seen playing another game together, one where the raven will swoop down and peck at the wolf's tail or rear, and when the bird flies back up, the pup will play bite at it and the sequence is repeated multiple times. Or you could even see them play a game of chase, where the pups are the ones chasing the ravens around the ground. But it's this relationship relationship through playing that leads to the ravens and wolves becoming best friends. The bond they share extends into adulthood as well, as when the wolf becomes old enough to leave the pack, the ravens that it grew up with will follow it. Overall, the relationship between ravens and wolves is mutualistic, meaning that they both benefit from it, and there are some similar relationships in the animal world. One for a future video could be coyotes and badgers, or crocodiles and the Egyptian plover. But regardless, I hope you enjoyed today's video, so thank you for watching, and if you could like and subscribe, that would be greatly appreciated.